In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use the user location features available in CFX to control data collection, reducing disk usage for a transient simulation. This feature can be used to efficiently speed up post-processing. I have already set up a transient calculation for this simulation in CFX Pre. Now I will insert a user surface and describe its location with this .csv file that I generated from the results of my steady state simulation using the export feature in CFD Post. As we can see, the surface of interest has been appropriately imported into CFX Pre. Finally, I need to change my transient output settings such that the .trn files printed only contain data pertaining to my user surface. This can be done by opening the monitor section of the output control panel and adding the specified user surface as a monitor surface. I can select which variable values are saved at this surface. For this run, I will collect data for the expansion efficiency, the pressure, the temperature, and the velocity. This information will be collected for every time step. Finally, I will remove the default transient output protocol so only information on the specified user surface is collected. After submitting this case to the solver, the solution is ready for post-processing in CFD Post. As we can see, the user surface is automatically available in the CFD Post tree under the Other Locations branch. I'll plot a contour map on this surface so we can see the pressure distribution. Since I set CFX to only output data regarding the surface, I can only generate plots at this location. However, restricting data output in this way significantly speeds up my post-processing and animation creation time, justifying the trade-off. Using this plot, I created an animation modeling the transient behavior of the fluid flow. This concludes this demonstration showing you how to export transient data using a user location in a full-wheel transient case, describing an asymmetric flow.